Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Fallout 3. In easy mode, let your worries disappear. It doesn't matter who you are, all are welcome here. Come and take a load off, leave the world outside. In easy mode, sit back, kick back, cast your cares aside. Let's play easy mode, let's escape and play. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Easy Mode where we love to escape and play. If this is your first time here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we're gonna be picking things back up where we left off with Fallout 3 uh, as we went up and discovered the little town on a broken bridge called Arafu. Basically, we are following Lucy West's mission. Lucy is a character, a friend of ours uh, from the, the town of Megaton. And so we've been following uh, her quest to bring a letter from her to her family. And we've gone up there and we've realized that things are not all that they seem. Um, there was like some sort of outside group coming in that was called the family. Uh, that was, you know, attacking people and ended up, uh, I believe, attacking Lucy's family, the Wes. And really, though, the only person we can't find right now is her brother. Um, I cannot remember what his name was. But anyway, um, so now we've, we've been helping them and now we're in a, in a mission where we need to find her brother and the guy, the old man that you meet when you first go in. Evan? Was his name Evan? I can't remember. I think it was Evan. Um, but you, you talk with him. We'll call him Evan for now. You talk with him and he gives you like three different places that you can look for this like group, I think called the family or whatever. And, uh, and, and the idea, I think personally, like they kind of treat it like they kidnapped her brother. I think that her brother, there's more to him, and he's probably, because these stories always go this way, that he actually joined up with the group. Or maybe he's got some sort of Stockholm Syndrome, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna go keep looking for him. I've looked in the various places that uh, were offered to me, and I haven't found him yet. Uh, so I, I gotta think he's still within those three places. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head back. We just recently went to Megaton, got reset, got our energy up, all of that. So now we're gonna head back and keep looking for this lad. And uh, hopefully we'll find him and bring him home to Lucy and all will be well in the world. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I know I'm looking forward to recording it and playing this game. It's been a while since I have. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into the world of Fallout 3. First, I just wanna say, if you would do me a favor, drop a like on this video, subscribe for more content. You know, all the things you hear YouTubers say over and over and over again, but we still say it because we love it when you do those things. So uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe for more content. Come hang out with us at Discord. And a big one for me is if you want to join our community over at Patreon, you can do so by going to this link right here and get your hands on all kinds of extra perks uh, for being a part of the Let's Play Easy Mode Patreon community. Special shout out going out to all of those guys over there right now. Thank you guys so much for your monthly support and your early comments and all of that. If you're out there and you would like to join this awesome list of people, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Fallout 3. Okay, guys, we are picking things back up where we left off here. Uh, I think this is actually my house. Oh, look, I'm signed in. Oh, hey there, yay, Wadsworth. I'm your new There we go. I was last signed into another console. Oh yeah, when I went up to uh, Maine recently, I just got back from vacation, and uh, that's why I haven't played this game in a hot minute. And hello, okay, we're running away. And uh, I got a great chance to go visit friends and family. There we go. Here. Oh, you've done so much for us. That's nice. I want you to have this. Thank you. It's all I have to offer you. Certainly, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. I've learned my lesson, though. The minute I start, like, talking to them any more than that, they're always like, hey, shut up. I want to talk with you. 
Okay. Here we go. How am I doing on weapons, first off? Okay. 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 Oh, gotta be careful there. I almost triggered, uh... Ooh. Alright, what do I want? Let's do that one. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. And let's go travel back up. Now, I'll show you guys. Um, okay, world map. So this is up here where we were. We were, well, there's that bed and breakfast. There's Arafu. Now he said in the mission that there was, I think the Seneca station, Hamilton's hideaway, and moon beam up. Well, no, was that it? I can't remember. I needed to take a look at the three locations. Oops. But look, there is isn't. There is more over here. There's a minefield. So it makes me wonder if we need to still just keep exploring. Because, guys, I, I feel like I, I didn't... I Maybe I didn't see everything in Hamilton's hideaway, but, I mean, it sure felt like it. It was dark and creepy down there, for sure. Um, let's go fast travel. Alright, let, let me see if I was right with his name. Evan, I was right! How's the search going? Any sign of Ian? Ian, okay. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Okay. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to the pay. The family. So I am remembering some things here, guys. I remember that it was the family. I couldn't remember Ian's name, but I did remember Evan. Gotta go down here because there's not really a good... The bridge kind of ends over there, as I remember. Actually, you know what? Let me, um, I guess I'll just check out Northwest Seneca Station. Let's just start with that again. I think that was, um, there we go. I think this is the place where we saw some people down here, remember? There's a couple guys in here that asked me to do stuff. Ah, you're back. Good. Hi, Murphy. So, what did you bring me? What's the deal with... Oh, I can talk to him about this stuff. Have you ever heard of the sure. family? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. Oh, okay. What's the deal with... Here. He's my assistant and my backup. In case things get rough. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. Yep. Do what you gotta do. Okay. Yeah. He said that... something to say? He said there were tunnels.
Oh, avoid that room. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I forgot how do I use bats. Okay, it's been too long. Okay. There. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out there. I just, it's been a little while. So maybe if I go through here. Maybe it's through, he said that, Murphy said, if we go through the tunnels, okay, I think, let's see. Taking a look around. Hey, by the way, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. I just kind of feel like I'm sitting here on the couch with some friends playing this game. He said through the station. Okay, that's where we just came in. So maybe this room just kind of loops around. Oh, gotta be weary. So these were bathrooms. And this was the other bathroom. And I think that's it. I think so. Go back out. Oh, wow. Chain gate. Wait, isn't this where I came in? How did I not go down that door before? Well, guys, I'm not really sure. Um, he said through the station. I really don't know where I'm going here. Restrooms. Okay, that's all just restrooms. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. There weren't any more tunnels? Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Hi there. Uh, Murphy, can we, so can we talk to you? What did you again? bring me? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground foolish. way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. Oh, through their place. I don't, well. 
Yep. Do what you gotta do. All right. East of here. Well, that would be Hamilton's hideaway, isn't it? Dang it. That was the place I didn't want to go. Okay. Well, like I said, I mean, I mentioned this in the last episode. You know, you, uh... East. You know, it, he gave me three spots, and if I know video games, you don't go, you're not gonna find what you're looking for outside of those three spots. That's why they give you those. I just hate going in those dark, creepy, hard to see underground places. Especially when I feel so vulnerable. It would be different if I was playing this game with like mods. I do love that sense of in being in invincible. Well, let's just go walk around for a little bit. Might as well. Nice day for a stroll, right? In nuclear wasteland. Hey, look at this. There's like a building over here in the northeast. Wonder if we'll find friends or foe. Oh, uh, there's some sort of development here. Oh, oh gosh. Who's shoot? Oh, that is a robot. Gosh, you know what? Hang on. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh. I figured if I got closer, it'd have an easier time. All right. What do we got? Energy cells. Well, what do we got? We're running out of ammo, that's for sure. So we have a, some sort of church building here. Gravestones. Oh, shoot. Hi, I'm not here. I am a friend. Oh, my gosh. What have I walked into? Oh, gosh. That man has a very big gun. Guys, I'm in trouble. I am so in trouble. Plus I got no aim. Oh. 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 Whatever that thing is. Headshot. I mean, it looked like it did stuff. Okay. That worked. A centaur. Gosh, there's no... There, I was gonna say, it's kind of a who can last longer. Oh! 
Oh gosh, there's more. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. I'm a dancing guy uh, wandering around. Okay, never mind. was a lot. That was a lot. Be awesome if I had markers to be able to go back and uh, and kind of just like follow through with where the bodies are so I could go loot them easier. That's a lot of weight. Definitely could do some damage, though. Well, for now. Yeah, blood ties. Locate the family. Interesting. It wants me to go back. I just realized that. It does want me to go back. Guys, is that a person? It's alive? Wasteland captive. The super mutants have bound the captive for transportation. The ropes are digging into his wrist. He's obviously suffered from their... Untie him! <laughs> I'm alive! I can't believe it! I'm alive! Yeah! Here, I managed to hide this stuff before they tied me up. You take it. It's the best I can do to thank you. I'll take that. Now get out here. No, you'll need it more than I will. You'd know best, wouldn't you? I have to go. Again, thank you. These super mutants like to listen to old swing jazz. There we go. Nice, I got some ammo. Yep, more ammo. This gun works really well. Combat knife. All right, we have another ammo box. Take those, that will probably come in handy at some point. Huh, Keller, take, okay. Keller family transcript. Interesting. Oh, wait, there is a Nuka Cola. All right. Wait a minute. Did I just let Ian go? No. Yeah, locate the family. Okay. Is 
enemies over there. Gotta be careful. Not just to keep running up and... Engaging in battle everywhere. So, here's the thing. Wait. What is this? Guys, is that the the place east I'm supposed to be going? Maybe. I don't know. Wait. No, I just got that Keller thing, right? Kel is that is that the family that we're talking about? Paul, it's me, Tina. I heard back from my sister Candace. We couldn't get into a vault. 101, 87, didn't matter. All full to capacity. But my brother Alex is a soldier, and he sort of stole the passcode for a secure army bunker. He did it for the family, but they caught him. Before they took him into custody, Alex, he sent us each one number of the four-digit code. That way we all have to be together to get in. He gave me number five, the day of my birth. So, I guess what I'm saying is, I'm still leaving. It's been fun. Kind of. The oh, and I'm not pregnant, so no worries. What a tough world to have a baby in, and to raise a baby. Raising a child is not easy in our world. Moresti train yard. Well, this is where it's bringing me, the Chinese radio beacon found. I should crouch more. You guys have been telling me that crouching. Oh, okay. This is where we're going. Well, oh, there's the door. Okay, here we go, guys. Actually, is this, didn't he say, he said this was the station, right? Murphy, did, was this where we're going? It's funny that if this, if this was it, that this was not one of the three places that Evan told us about. Which would go against all my preconceived notions about, hey, if, if, like I said earlier about, you know, video games. I know video games. He gives you three places to look. It's got to be those three places. Been running into those mines, so now I know I gotta keep a uh, look out for them. Bear trap. The repairs was not high enough to interact with the Okay. Gotta be careful not to walk into it. All right. I hear an enemy, I think. That's creepy. Ooh. That one got me. That was creepy. Ooh, and then it explodes. What group am I messing with down here? Mess 
some with baby carriages and stuff. Can I turn the lights on or something? Is this a generator? I still, when I play first person shooters, I still move my head like I'm gonna see something. Activate pitching? go. So far, I don't see anything. What are those red things over there? They're kind of... those traps? Are those just lighting things up? Why do they have power? The game jumped me a lot on the channel for a while. Being sneaky. Bear trap. Look at that mask right there. Oh, Ooh, I leveled up. I leveled up. Quick speech. Well, actually, I'll do that and then I'll do a few there. I just, my speech is never high enough. Actually, you know what? Nope, I just want to be high. I have been, I am such a speech driven person. In real life, I would talk myself down from stuff, you know? Like, if I had a, not that I ever have confrontations with people, but I always try to talk my way out of it. Not that I need to talk my way out of things, but you get my point. Let diplomacy rule the day. And, uh,. And so I like to play that way in games, too. I know for some people, that's not the most exciting thing. Um, just like dear old dad, you do it your time in intellectual pursuits. Well, maybe I need to do the repair one. female opponent outside of combat you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the huh i wonder if that's also well it says lady killer but it makes me wonder if that's like opens things up for like romance options in the game or something while well, using a pistol oh let's do gunslinger Look at that crazy mask. I mean, I know it's a skull, but I'm just saying it wouldn't surprise me if this is some weird cult down here. And this is just what they do. I'm going to save it real quick.
No ammo there. Got ammo there. Oh, you know what else I have? Is, uh, let's get that minigun set up. Hot key that down there. Okay, you guys show me what to do. Hang on. Um. Okay. So I go into limbs. Stem pack. Place is this? There's no what kind of weird. Am I even going in the right direction, guys, for this quest? I don't mean to bore anybody with how slow I'm moving. It's just I feel safer when I move slow. Gotcha. That's it. I'd rather have him get closer to me. There we go. worth some. Man, those stim packs only go so far. That would be worth upgrading. My medical. Here we go. All the find Ian. Hope I don't get down there. He's like, but I never wanted to come home. This is my new family now. You don't understand. Oh! Jeez. I don't know where I am, but there's a ladder. Okay. There's a lot of rads here. What's going down? Okay. Wait a minute. Murphy? Ah, you're back. Good. 
So what did you bring me? Wait, 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 wait. Yep. Do what you gotta do. He meant over here? I could have gone down, man. Oh my gosh. That's what he was saying. the ladder I wonder if then if when you get pack I gotta be careful of the mines in the bear trap When I first came down here, if you go straight up there, there was another route. I took a right. Wait. Oh, gosh! Boy, so many jumpy things down here. Obviously heading in the right direction. I hear people. Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? We made it. Speech. Uh, I really need to get by you. It's important. I'm not telling you, Jack. Hang on a second. I have a letter for Ian. Well, I don't know. All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. I'm really glad I put my speech up. What is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Maybe they're not actually that bad. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. Okay, maybe they're not we that great. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. I thought that was a very fine question to ask. Tell me about the family. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. What's the big idea? Yeah, I remember you. What's up? <laughs> well, I, I would assume he doesn't Just forget remember, me. I got my eyes on you. We all do. Okay, so far they're friendly. Probably best not to steal things. You're listening to America the Beautiful. Oh, it's you again. What's up? First aid, guys. All these things. I can't take anything. He's gonna. Oh, it's you again. What's up? Yes, that's locked. Activate. Yes, I can see you. I can't take that. Okay, let's just go inside then. Oh, there's so many things I want to take. 
I'm really glad I upgraded my speech. That got me through. The reason why I didn't want to offer him that letter is I still don't know yet if Ian is one of them or if Ian is captured. Here we go. Hi, Justin. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. I'm looking for Ian West. Ian, what do you want from him? Oh, I need speech at Hunter. He needs to talk to someone from the outside. Um, he's needed at home. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Okay. I'd never thought of it that way. I suppose he should get a chance to talk to someone like you. Here's the password to his isolation area. Just please don't mention my name to Vance about this. I just realized something. When it gives you a per I am such an idiot. Guys, oh, thank you so much for watching me in spite of the fact that I, I'm an idiot sometimes. For some reason, I was looking at the percentage and I was thinking, like, what it requires. No, that's my chances of, because my speech is high, it's my chance that, like, I got 100%. So, I okay, no, I got you. Well, Vance told me that this place was called Moresti. It was named after some town way across the ocean in a place called Romania. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. Rivet City. I understand. We're gonna be Goodbye. going here soon. There's someone else. Hi there. Hi, Alan. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? These guys seem nice enough. I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. So Ian is kind of one of the group here. Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my problems. Okay. Interesting. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Guess I'll see you around. Okay. I mean, they seem nice. Oh, I need to get my science skill up. Is this Vance over here? Carl. Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Wait, what? Know what I mean? You were Ian Wes. Do I look like a fucking babysitter? I don't know where he is. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. You can't just help out without being so mean. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> Tough shit. This is the real world. You want to know something? Find it out your damn self. Oh, okay. If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Beat standing there drooling all over the merchandise. I wanna punch him right in the face. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. That's I I know I need these. Actually, let me see real quick what I have for weapons. I have my 32. Uh, I have that, yep. So I'm gonna need the 556. And the shells. What do I have that I can sell? Not worth a lot. Ooh. Nope. Well, I only. Well, never mind. No, that is something that you put. You wear, you put on, but I think it wears out, and then you don't get. So it's important to get multiple. Okay, um... He's got a harmonica. Try that. Thanks. This place is my place of business. You want to buy something, then buy. If you want to flap your lips, take a hack. For the record, this is absolutely deplorable customer service. Say it ain't so. Vance is nicer. Hairs. Here we go. Hey, a girl. Hello there, stranger. Hi there, Holly. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I'm looking for Ian. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. Why is he in isolation? He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon, like he did for all of us. Hey, I'm just here to help. All I want to do is be someone he can talk to. Scoundrel? I don't think I'm at scoundrel level at all, am I? Come on, all I want to do is talk. What harm could... Well, I guess so. He's a little bit of charm. You seem like a pretty nice guy. Vance will have my butt in a sling if he finds out. But let me give you the password to his room. Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. Because this is like the island of misfit toys, basically? It was good talking to you. Hmm. Welcome to the rest of you. Can't sleep here. Vance! 
Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Ah, uh, this place is very different from any other settlements I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Continue. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, oh. eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. You amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? You're vampires, or at least you follow their fictional traditions. If I said vampires and you said I was right, we'd both be crazy. I still say you're cannibals. I think you're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. No, I'm not going to do that. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. You do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings? Uh, what you're doing here is brainwashing them plain and simple. Come on, Vance. You're on a power trip. You mess with their minds. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter for him. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Wait a minute, what happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Oh! Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Are you telling me that Ian is a cannibal? I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. This letter is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. Your words impress me, human. Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. If you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the so area in which he is, is meditating. Up. a nice queen size bed but it's red that's the thing if I sleep in that I could be oh gosh okay here we go nope I can't can I hang on didn't they say that...
can't have too much. <laughs> um, mentals. Okay. Oh wait, is that? No, I thought I saw another stem pack. Okay. I'm I'm being a little thief here, guys. Thieving. Heck yeah, he's got a sword cabinet. Nope. Probably would be able to get in there anyway. I could pick up a... I'd use a plunger to be on the attack. I look like a Dalek from Doctor Who. Oh, hi there! You wish to speak with me? You wish to speak to me again? Yes, um... The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside, we all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than mere friendship. I feel kind of threatened, like I could be the you next You are standing meal. inside Moresti, the home of the family. This is our sanctuary from the outside world. It is a refuge for those society labels as outcasts. Okay. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. Thank you. I mean, they're vampires, but they're friendly-ish. Dude. Oh, here's where I need to do the code. for you. <laughs> You're hard to find. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Look, Ian, I know loss too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. I give up. Fine, stay here and cry. <laughs> There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. Oh. No one gives a shit about me except fans know. and the family. Can't you understand that? Let's go home, Ian. The only way to beat your... Nightmares is a face that wait, read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. She she really misses being home and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Wait, that, that doesn't look like he's doing anything. He's like, okay, I'll just get my supplies. I'll be right along after this big nap. <sighs> well, I guess in fair, hey, it's 5.15 a.m. Get your butt up. Can we talk more? I wanted to thank you one last time for what you've done for me. My brain feels like less of a mess now. I think I may be seeing clearly for the first time in years. Don't worry about me. I've been through a lot, but I think I'm going to be okay. 
Uh, I know it's painful, but let's talk about what happened. It actually kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Why did you uh, do what you did to your parents? How did Vance know you were one of them? How did you end up... Okay, I saw the family's mark on the wall. What's up with that? Okay, why did you? I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside, like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. Um... How did Vance know you were one of them? That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to... to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. Hmm. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. Yeah, okay. I suppose not. When did you first discover? I was about 10 years old and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed, pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. Yeesh! What did Lucy say when she, she saw She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The Wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. Did you ever talk to your parents? Lucy said mom and dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until, well, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that, but who knows? Maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. And back to bed. Okay. There's fans. I really want to get in there. I'll have to bring my science level up next. I just love getting my way by talking my way through it. Here you are. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Arafu to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Give those people a chance. In light of your candor, Ugh. all I can promise is that Arafu will no longer be a target of the family. Beyond that, I make no such other promises. There must be an alternate source of blood you can survive on. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, 
I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Arafu donates blood packs and you leave the town alone. Oh, I like that. Arafu donates blood packs and in exchange you protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. I'm not sure I should be the one telling you this. If you fear reprisal from the family regarding his decision, know that I would never hold it against you. And as for Ian having you speak in his place, I find his trust sufficient enough to accept what you say is truth. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Well, that went as good as it possibly could have, I think. Okay, can I just travel? Okay, we gotta get out of here. But I can follow the arrow here. Looks like my door. Here we go. Guys, I did some thieving while I was there, too. But I got some stim packs. There. Oh! Jeez. Oh, there's so much for the stim pack. Oh, it'd be so easy to just go out that way. Here we go. Now. Yes. Guys, we did it. We did it. So let's go talk with Evan, and then I'm gonna go talk with Lucy. I take it you found the place. There he is, the hero of the day. Yep, it's done, Evan. The family will never bother Arafu again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, 
but god damn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the Waste. Thanks. I have a proposal, you, proposal from you from Vance. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. I got wine. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Thank you. All right, now. Let's go back home. I wish there were more people like you in the world. Why, thank I you. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. If you only knew how much stuff I was stealing. Another stim pack. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. Thanks. I go find Lucy. Well, maybe I don't need to. It's not coming up as a thing of the quest. Now. Uh, okay, so here's what we gotta do. Um, I think I'm gonna stop the episode here, guys, because we've... Yeah, we, we've been playing for a little while. I think this is a good stopping point. We got through that. Um, now, we could do Moira. That might be the thing to do first. I think one thing I need to do is go sleep. Um... Go rest up, and then what we'll do is we will go to um, Moira's and finish up that last wasteland mission. Hiding. Moriarty. Can I do for you, Daddy O? Hey, Billy Creel. Hey. Hi, Maggie. I found where my house was. Over here? Is it that one? I can't remember. Jericho, this one. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Wadsworth. Oh, I need it. Like, a, let's do it. Let's just sleep it all off. So, what we'll do is we'll save it. We'll sleep and we'll save it. Then we'll go talk with Moira. And we'll finish up that wasteland mission. And then I think at that point, that, you know, we'll have everything cleared out from before. All this side stuff. That wasteland survival mission, that's kind of a tutorial thing anyway. I know a lot of you guys said I think that would be a good one to get out of the way. And then, um, okay, it's auto-saving. I'm going to make a regular save while I'm at it. Um... And then we're going to go back to the main quest and, and hunt down our character's father. And then we'll start the Rivet City uh, part of the quest. And we'll, we'll, we'll get over there and meet the people. And I'm sure there's going to be a ton of missions that we'll be doing in Rivet City. Because uh, that, that just sounds like a big place. So I'm excited to check that out. But, uh, guys, for now, that is going to be the end of this episode. Well, okay, guys, that's going to conclude this episode, and that was a lot of fun. It was really nice just being back in that uh, world of Fallout 3, and we got that mission done. I didn't even know if we were going to be able to find Ian at all today, but I'm really glad we stuck to it. And uh, I, I kind of wandered around for a little bit, but then we found their station, which actually turned out... Well, I was going to say you couldn't... I was starting to say it really wasn't either of those places, 
any of those places that Evan mentioned, but I guess you did have to go to that Seneca station to be able to get in and to it. So I guess that did count. Um, but that was a lot of fun and we've made friends with vampires and then we've united regular people with vampires or at least people who kind of think they are. Um, still very interested in their condition. Uh, they have this proclivity to be cannibals and so now they're just probably the closest thing to actual vampires we're ever going to see in this world, you know. Now they're going to be drinking blood packs, which means uh, the poor people of Arafu are definitely, there. It, it's almost like we've set up like this mafia protection ring. It's like, you give us blood and we'll protect you, you know. But they probably could use a protection. All they have right now is, you know, Evan out there with a gun, so... I have a feeling that the family could offer a lot for protection. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching it. Next time we play this, we'll probably go hit up Moira, finish up that Wasteland Survival. And if that doesn't take too long, we'll be heading straight to Rivet City. And uh, I'm really excited to get into that with you guys. But that's going to be next time. Do me a favor and drop a like on this video as well as subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, come hang out with us at Discord. And uh, if you'd like to dive in deeper with me and support what you see, you can do that by hopping on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. Guys, I can't wait to play this game again, so I will see you in the next episode of Fallout 3. But until then, take it easy. Let's play easy mode. Let's escape and play.